Right, this is a Panasonic DMR PWT 655 EB. Right, replacement hard drive. When you're going to replace the hard drive, you, you can put it in and all that. And you might think, oh, just go to the disk management or whatever it is. No, before you do any of that, you have to go into the registry options and make sure you register the hard drive to this machine. Because if you don't register it and you try to go to the format hard drive and all that, it won't work because the machine still thinks that there's nothing in there. So it will always keep coming up with this disk full thing on the when you get to the option screens there or the, the main screen where all the menus are. So what you have to do is you have to go into the registry options first before you do anything. I can't remember exactly where it is because I don't have the machine here. But there's a registry options when you go into the options and you have to register it first so the machine can recognize it and know that there's a hard drive in there. Without the registry options first, you are not going to be able to do anything. So make sure you go to the registry options, register the hard drive. And then you can go to the disk management or wherever it is and then you format the hard drive because if you don't register it first when you're going to the format the format will not format it will just say start in format but the line will just not move it will still stay on zero so once you register it first and it's all completed then you can go to the hard drive format and then bang up from there your hard drive will be recognized in this machine it took me a little while to recognize this myself because i'm used to the old machines where you didn't have to do all of that but this new machine right here it will make you think that it's a manufacturer thing and you have to take it back to panasonic but you don't you have to register the hard drive to the machine first all right